Hi, everyone, and welcome back. We're getting some connection problems here on Instagram. Instagram, are you with me? All right, yes. Hi, Instagram, and welcome back for another episode of Let's Talk. Hi, Facebook, welcome back for another episode of Let's Talk. This is our Tuesday evening time that we kind of get together and just speak about different um, health issues so that gets you more understanding, get you educated on what's going on in your health. As you know, this is Dr. Savin Elise, board certified family medicine physician, CEO and co-founder of Cornerstone Medical Group. I provide simple, concrete understanding to what's going on in your body so that you can identify two things. One, how it's affecting your overall well-being, and two, how it's affecting your daily productivity. And that's something all of us want, right? We want to be more productive in our daily activity and what we're doing. And how do I do that? Well, I do that through my medical expertise. And I also do that through my restorative approach to patient care that really focuses on the entire body, reconnecting the physical, spiritual, and mental components of your health so that you can enhance the quality of life, all right? So I just want to come in again really quickly, say hi, welcome. We're going to wait, give, wait a little bit for some people to sign on. Once you come on by, go ahead and say hi. And then we're going to get right into our teaching. Um, thank you for your patience. We had a little bit of delay in signing on today. We're having some internet troubles. The weather isn't too good here in South Florida, but we're on live here. So let's get right into our teaching today. Today we are speaking about shingles. We're speaking about shingles. And shingles is very important. Very important for you to understand what's going on with shingles, how it affects you, and what you need to know. So let's first go to our poll. If you were on Instagram, on Facebook, we had a poll going on, and it was just to really to test your knowledge to see what you do and do not know about shingles, that you'll be surprised. So let's go over those answers very quickly, and I also want to break down for you what the percentage was. So the first question, I don't want to get wrong, so I'm going to look here. The first question was, you can only get shingles once. You can only get shingles once, all right? You could type your answer in the post here on Facebook, and you could type your answer there in the comment line there on Instagram. Hi, Lee Wendy. Good. Thank you for joining us. Good seeing you today. Okay, so the question was, you can only get shingles once. We had 10% of you say yes, and 90% of you say no. What's the answer? No. No, you can actually get shingles more than once, all right? So that first question was no. Second question in testing your knowledge on shingles that we put in our uh, feed this morning was shingles is not contagious. I want you to lean in for this one, all right? Shingles is not contagious. 43% uh, of you said yes, shingles is not per contagious. And 57% of you said no that shingles actually is contagious. And what is the answer? The answer is that shingles is actually contagious. And we're gonna speak about how contagious that is and what effect that actually has on the pregnant woman to really stay away from that, okay? So then our final question was, um, the first sign of shingles uh, the first sign of shingles is the skin rash. The first sign of shingles is the skin rash. And 38% uh, of you said yes, and 62% of you said no. What is our answer? The answer truly is no. The first sign of shingles is not. The first sign of shingles is not necessarily the skin rash. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that a little bit more so that we can understand what shingles is, what's going on, and how we can avoid it, prevent it, and treat it. All right? So here we go. Let's go right into our topic. So first of all, shingles. What is shingles? Shingles actually is the reactivation of the same virus that causes chickenpox. The same virus that causes chickenpox is the same virus that causes shingles as an adult. The CDC tells us one in three, one in three people will actually get shingles. So go ahead and put in the comment line, one in three. And that's a pretty remarkable number that one in three adults will get shingles according to the CDC. So what is shingles? Shingles is a reactivation of the same virus that causes chickenpox. And it is very 
painful, painful. I want you to put painful in the comment box right there because I want you to remember this. Shingles is painful. Some people think that it will only appear just on the torso, like on their um, the torso of their body, like on their back, uh, only on their sides, their flanks, or even on their stomach. But I want to let you know that that rash can appear anywhere. So it's not just there. So the rash is very painful. It's a painful rash, okay? And then what actually has, it has what we call in medicine lesions. So it looks like little, little bumps. And these little bumps look like they're oozing out stuff, oozing out stuff. And that's one of the main ways that it's actually contagious. That oozing out of that virus is actually what makes it very, very contagious. Even for myself as a physician, when I have a patient that has uh, shingles or even any type of rash, before I could get that full understanding, I have my medical assistant ask key questions so that we can know what we're looking at. And then of course, for just uh, universal precautions, we make sure that we have that patient in a specific room. And when they're actually in that specific room, the other thing that we do too is make sure that we wipe it down because the rash is so contagious. That rash is very contagious, all right? So we know that it's painful, it's very contagious. And I wanted to let you know because one of the questions we asked earlier was the first sign of shingles is actually the rash, but it's not. The first sign of shingles is like the flu. You know, you have kind of body aches, you're not feeling well, you feel nauseous. Body aches, not feeling well, feeling nauseous. And then following that, that's when you actually see the rash. During that time, before you actually see the rash, you're also very contagious as well too. This can be detrimental to a woman who's carrying uh, a baby. So this could cause a lot of complications for a woman who is pregnant. So it's very important if you know someone that possibly has shingles or you heard that a friend, a parent or whoever has shingles, then you wanna make sure you're not in contact with that person if you are the one who's pregnant or if you have a family member that's pregnant. So once again, we said that one in three individuals uh, get shingles in their lifetime. Um, we mentioned one of the best ways to avoid it is because you know that it is contagious. So if you hear that someone at work has shingles, if you hear that someone has shingles, you wanna make sure you're staying away from them. And I also wanna add in here that that time for shingles to actually heal, it's a four week process for 40% of people. So a four week process. So it takes a long time for those shingles to actually hear, so to heal. All right, so that's one of the biggest things I want to let you know as well too. So we know shingles is painful. We know that shingles is the reactivation um, of, it's the same virus, the reactivating virus that causes the chicken pox. We know one of the ways that we can avoid it, one of the ways that we can avoid it is staying away from people who actually have shingles. And there's also this misconception that I really want to just talk about really quickly, that shingles is a, I guess an illness of, of dirt, that it's people who are unkept, people who don't uh, take care of themselves, don't clean themselves, and that really is just a myth. It's just not true. And you know that because I just mentioned to you that it's the actual same virus that causes chicken pox. Okay, so that's one of the things. So we spoke about what it is, we know how do we avoid it. Now, how do we prevent it? One of the best ways to actually prevent it is the, uh, the shingles vaccine. The shingles vaccine is available for individuals over the age of 50. So I want you to put in the comment line, 50 years old. So 50YO, go ahead and put in that comment line, 50YO in terms of 50 years old, and that's who can actually get that vaccine. I really encourage this vaccine because if you have not had shingles, then you cannot begin to understand the type of pain that you will be in all along where that rash is. I've had patients who describe it as a burning pain, something that they feel like someone put fire, actually lit a match to where that rash is. 
So you really want to make sure that if you are over the age of 50 and you have the opportunity to prevent shingles, then you want to prevent shingles by getting the Shingrix vaccine, all right? S-H-I-N-G-R-I-X. You can go ahead and ask your physician about that for people over the age of 50. And I'm thinking about one patient in particularly who came into the office and what she mentioned to me is that she could not support the clothes on her back because of how painful this rash is. And it's very simple. Let's avoid it. Um, if we know that someone has uh, shingles, even if they said it was two weeks ago, you still want to stay away from them because we told you again that it takes uh, four weeks for it to completely heal, and that's only in 40% of the population. So that's one way to avoid it. We spoke about how to prevent it, and that truly is the Shingrix uh, vaccine, and that comes in two doses. So you have to get both doses of that vaccine in order to actually um, get the benefits of that back vaccine. And then finally, um, how do we treat it? So one of the other things too that this is this misconception, and that's one of the things that we really want to debunk at Cornerstone Medical Group is that um, we don't wanna shame our patients when they come in for certain illnesses that they believe uh, have to do with the lower socioeconomic status or have to do with them being unkept or having poor hygiene. So I've had patients who will sit there and walk around with this painful rash because they don't wanna go to their doctor. They're embarrassed about having this diagnosis of shingles. So they will be in that pain. And I wanna let you know that we can actually treat it. We can treat it. We can't cure it, remember? So this is a virus, so we can't cure viruses, but we could treat it to reduce the amount of time that the rash is there. It's as simple as giving an antiviral medication. You're on it for a few weeks. And then also we, we treat the symptoms. We treat the symptoms of the pain. We treat the lesion. We could always apply things on it. So there's a lot of options that you have if you actually do become diagnosed with uh, shingles. And what did we say that number was? CDC, the Center of Disease, uh, the, the Center of Disease, um, Center of Disease Control, that's it. The Center of Disease Control actually reports one in three, one in three adults will get shingles. One in three adults will get shingles. And what we can do is do our best to avoid it, as we discussed, to prevent it, as we discussed with the Shingrix vaccine, two doses, and, and then now also treat it. So that's our big thing for today. Those of you who are just signing on, I wanna say hi to you. Hi, uh, Ferlande, Volsi, good seeing you. Thanks for joining us. I see you, Lee Wendy, Seraphin, how are you? I wanna say hi to Dr. Jacquel, how are you? Bell Nurse, Anne, good to see you. Vic for real, hello, oh, 03, Ron, I'm glad you could join us. Vic for real, 954. It's always a pleasure to have this time to come on here and educate and just really let you know what's going on in your body so that you could identify what two things how it's affecting your overall well-being and two how it's affecting your daily productivity and it particularly as it does as it deals with shingles this is something that truly affects your daily productivity because you're miserable you are miserable you're in pain um, patients again like I said reported they cannot tolerate the clothes on their back anything that touches that lesion becomes very painful and it feels like fire so needless to say you're not as productive so we want to get the tools in your hands so you can make the right choices so you know what to do and so that you could prevent so that you could avoid and know that there are treatment options for uh, shingles and a lot of the other illnesses as well too. So if you have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and put them in the comment line right now. We're gonna give a little bit time for that before we sign off here. Any questions that anyone has? All right, so that looks good in terms of questions. 
Once again, I am Dr. Sabin Elise, board certified family medicine physician, uh, CEO and co-founder of Cornerstone Medical Group. I provide simple, concrete understanding to what's going on in your body so that you can identify two things, um, how it's affecting your overall well-being and two, how it's affecting your daily productivity. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. It's always a pleasure to come on here and teach. If you think this information is going to be uh, beneficial to someone else, go ahead and share this link with them. And of course, you can find me on all social medias at Dr. Sabine Elise. That's D-R-S-A-B-I-N-E. E-L-I-S-E-E. -E. Again, that's Dr. Sabine Elise. Go ahead and click that link. Go in there so you do not miss out on all the great things that are happening and more so so that you could be empowered so you could have great discussions with your physician of what's going on in your body to enhance the quality of your life. All right, that's it for tonight, guys. Good seeing you. Have a good night. Bye.